Coach, uh, you kick off on a beautiful day for football. Yeah, we don't get a, a real good kickoff here, Mark. But uh, you see how people get down, and there are a lot of people around the football. They come out here on offense, and uh, they have a uh, pretty good ball club. Uh, it's not as really bad as the score indicates. They just do a lot of things. I think once they fell down, and you can see that guy holding that, but the uh, referee didn't call it, and they fumbled the ball out of bounds. They, they're moving the ball pretty good on us because we're uh, really uh, trying to get ourselves settled in, and here they come around and hook our head and knock our cornerback down, and you see it's a foot race from here, and uh, they scored a first touchdown to go up 7 nothing. Okay, and that was a, a couple good blocks by the Clark um, offensive linemen and the... Uh, well, they got us hit the inside. And, uh, we rushed the kicker uh, on the PAT, and they missed the PAT, and they go up 6-0. 6-0 with 1331 first quarter, and they kick off to Savannah State. Uh, we'll get the ball here. It's not a deep kickoff. Willie DeLoach is going to return this ball. And see, that guy went out of bounds. Coming back <laughs> I'm in. Coming back in reminds yeah. you of that old play. Yeah, and this is Evan Ford. Evan had a good afternoon. He rushed... Uh, right off tackling. Yards, right off tackling. You can see you're moving the ball real well. And that's a formula. We, uh, we recover the ball. To Big pile up there. That would have been kind of devastating at that point. And this is Corey Latson. Uh, you don't get very much out of this. And we have to punt the ball away. Will Bryant gets off a real good punt. High. Good coverage there. Uh, uh, that was uh, uh, our uh, team. Didn't, guy really didn't break down. I can't see that well. But, they got they got a clip clipping the ball. ball marked off halfway to the goal line. They had to take it back, and they start off deep in their territory. Right, and they're going to back out here, and we don't have anyone to take the back out. And then they, they run what they call a free slipper. They put everybody on one side of the field. And Quarterback lost his shoe on that. He ran out of shoe on that one. You come up and make a real good force, so you can see how people force this football real good. And after a good defensive play, coach, you come back and they pitch out here. And from the ball, we, I thought we were going to recover it, but they got the football back. No, you did. We got, oh, yeah, we did. Okay, good. Uh, we come back here, we run in our Richard Bailey, the quarterback, and there's a nice pass here to Earl Brown. Earl catches it for a first down. We're moving the football now. We're beginning to, to come off the football and control the line. And here's the pitch uh, on the opposite to the floor last year. And that was a little late hit. Uh, that's every four up there. Our offensive line is doing a real good job of moving people off the football. And we go in, uh, that's the rest of the day. that's our first running touchdown on the season. Mm -hmm. uh, from a running back, we do we not rush the touchdown with a running back. And we go up 7-6 and the pitch to catch on the extra point. And we move on to further action. They're punting to you. And you know, all day long, if I can get this in quickly, you had good pressure on the punter, but we're not able to block him. Well, we didn't want to, you know, we wanted to put pressure. We knew he's not a good kicker. If we had missed it, we probably would have gotten a roughing call. And we wanted to put pressure on the punter. Uh, this is Basil again going up top here. Uh, the Shannon Sharp is trying to make a, a good catch. He moves the second quarter here. And you can see Richard spreading out here. And he gets caught. And we coach Neil and I was cutting and telling him, you know, to get rid of the ball and not. Uh, well, we missed that field goal. That was a long field goal by Pitt. Uh, they get the ball back. And we didn't want Richard to take that punishment and wanted him to throw the ball out of bounds and couldn't find him on the field. And we blew a coverage here uh, uh, for their second touchdown. And uh, this has happened to us quite frequently this season. we got to really look at it. They had problems see, again. They had problems with PAT and throws the ball out of bounds. And at this point, uh, we were behind 12-7. And uh, that coverage really, you know, kind of shook us up over there because we didn't want to make some mental mistakes that we've been making the last couple of games. Uh, Willie comes out. Willie comes the out. And here's Ford again, and you can see a good block over there by Shannon Sharp. Uh, unusual Sharp. We had to get on him the last couple of weeks about his blocking, but uh, he made a good block. And you see a good block on the corner there, and it's a good pass by Richard to, uh, to Sharp. And Tony. This is Tony Simmons. When he got in, they said his knee touched the ground, but uh, you come back again and give him to Tony, and Tony leaps over the top. And, uh, at this point, we're in command. We run a two-point conversion here today. I kind of caught him by surprise. A little right? trickery there. 15-12, yeah. 11-23 in the second quarter. And Earl gets off a real good kick here. It goes out of the end zone, and they turn and turn and get the ball. At the we get good pressure by our defensive front. Uh, they find a, a soft spot in our coverage and uh, complete the pass. But you can see the pressure being applied there. And this, is, this ball was actually taken away from this guy, Mike mm -hmm. Wallace. Did an excellent job of taking it away and returning it for a touchdown. That was a beautiful interception there. And I think 
think now we'll take it. Uh, we go again on the two point conversion and Earl Bryant. I tossed it to uh, Antonio Johnson. We had a little, we wanted to give him a little dose of their own medicine, a little trickery there. 23 to um, 12. 12. Uh, this is a good run back here by Willie. Uh, they get us a clipping call, but Ricky comes out. And this is what we were telling. We, they opened the floodgates that time. They sent the linebackers, and we wouldn't even have enough people to cover them. Good cut by Edwin. Good cut there. by Edwin, but they called us back, Mark. And on the holding call. On the holding call. And they couldn't find anybody. You know, the officiating was the best in the world, but, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they made some mistakes. And this is a good catch here on the sideline by Graham, David Graham, our tight end. We didn't carry uh, Kenny Brown. He was injured. Uh, been out for about two weeks. This is a good catch here by uh, Antonio Johnson. We come back and you can see the line blocking and that's Corey Latson. Touchdown, Corey. And the best catch by Antonio Johnson was on a fourth down. He picked up the first down to right. keep that drive alive. And touchdown. And Pitts comes on and tacks on the extra point. He got a bad mishandle that, but Earl and Pitts got together and they got the uh, PAT. 29-12 and... Uh, Clark's going to recover a fumble yeah, here, and, and this was a controversial call. Well, this guy caught the ball. No doubt about it, he's out of bounds. You know, he never never landed inbounds. And you can see that uh, here it comes again. The referee says he's inbounds, but you can see that he's clearly out of bounds. And uh, At the end of the half, I had to talk to the officials because I didn't want them to, you know, take over the football game and control it. Yeah, 29-12 at the half, we'll be right back.